Someone once said that the only man to enter Parliament with honest intentions was Guy Fawkes. Well, <laughs> that was the 5th of November, 1605. It's now the 5th of November, 2014. And let's be honest, public opinion hasn't really shifted much. Now, I like to think otherwise. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm involved in politics. And I made the decision to put myself forward and stand as the Labour parliamentary candidate for Bath. Now, you may have noticed, I'm kind of young. <laughs> this divides opinion. Some agree, others disagree. In fact, one guy was so outraged that he took to Twitter and said that no one should be involved in politics until they're able to grow a beard or build a boat. Um, I'm working on the beard thing, but seriously, you sometimes can't help thinking you just can't win. They tell us that young people should be involved in politics, so we get involved in politics. And then they tell us we're too young. Fortunately, not everyone thinks this way. Some people do actually find my youth refreshing, mainly because it challenges their preconceived ideas of what a politician usually looks like, which, more often than not, are middle-aged men. And there's nothing wrong with middle-aged men, nothing at all, but we need balance in politics. And there has to be room for other types of people as well. Because ultimately, politics is about variety. It's about everyone playing a part and everyone having a voice. And parliament and politics alike need to be a cross-section of society in order to be fully representative. Because how else do we reach a common consensus? How else are we supposed to reach a form of politics that works for everyone and leaves no one behind? That includes young people. And let's be honest, politics has its problems. People are deeply disillusioned with mainstream politics and politicians. I realize that as much as anyone. And we do need change. But change will start with a vote. Our democracy provides us with a ready-made vehicle for change. We have freedom, we have rights, we have a voice. But it didn't all just happen by chance. History alone tells us that. So, whether it's those that fought for the right for us to vote in the first place, or those that fought for basic rights for workers, or even more recently, those that fought for minimum wage. None of them got there by simply sitting back and waiting for things to change on their own. Instead, they directly engaged with and challenged the very systems that they were seeking to alter. People died for the right for us to have a say. But it's under threat. Why? Well, a recent poll suggested that only 12% of you guys would vote if there was a general election tomorrow. That's only 12% of us that would have a say in our futures. Now, the reason I became involved in politics is because I was fed up. I was fed up of what was happening under this government, and I was fed up of what was happening to young people. Tuition fees are a prime example now, politicians promised young people, they promised us, that they would abolish fees. Instead, they trebled them. Now, this to me was the ultimate political betrayal. And why was it, why is it, that you guys are facing having to go to university and paying nine crowns a year when millionaires are getting tax breaks? Well, I can have a pretty good guess. It's because young people are seen as easy targets. Let's just look at some of the voting stats from 2010. Three quarters of 60-year-olds voted, but less than half of 18 to 24-year-olds did. As a result, decisions are being made with the interests of those that are perceived to hold the balance of power in mind. This is a direct result of a lack of youth involvement in politics and the product of an electoral system that, at the moment, young people are simply not engaging with. 
this government can be safe in the knowledge that any decisions taken at the expense of young people would not have the same effect on their chances of electoral success in the same way that it would if they capped, say, pensions. Now, I'm really not suggesting this is what should be done, by the way. But what I am saying is that if you vote, the government is more likely to protect your interests. Well, they've got to be sent a message. And believe me, that message is not sent through not voting, as that is only a vote for the continuation of the very cycle that is fueling cynicism, sustaining disillusionment, and preserving disengagement in the political system. The very disengagement that certain political parties that would sooner protect their own interests, rather than those of young people, are so reliant upon. Well, they've got to be held to account. And the only way that this is achieved is through stepping into that polling booth and ticking that little box next time you get the chance. You've got to make your voices heard. So, like all of those that have gone before us, get out there and create change. Get out there, show them you care. Get out there and vote. Thank you very much.